for me, I just think of Michael Brown as a great wave and a greater river of a great black people committed to love and freedom and wounded healing. Legendary civil rights leader and former presidential candidate Dr. Cornel West came to St. Louis Friday to remember Michael Brown Jr. 10 years after a Ferguson police officer killed him. West was one of several national and local leaders attending the Black Ball fundraising gala put on by the Michael Brown Sr. Chosen for Change Foundation. He joined St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones, entertainer and activist David Banner, and Brown's family for this moment. It's a continuous struggle. We got Brianna, we got Brother Michael, we got Sonya, it goes on and on and on. The memorials will continue here at the Ferguson Urban League by Michael Brown's mother, Leslie McSpadden. She will debut a mural in honor of her son next to the phone booth kept in his memory. He walked this city up. He, he walked the world up. With her three sons by her side, Nikita Nixon walked through a gallery dedicated to telling Mike Brown's story, as well as honoring the people who died fighting in his name. Even them being so young, they still need to know, like, this can happen to me. Friday's tributes began with a unity walk at Ground Zero on Canfield Drive. That's where Brown's body lay for hours after he was killed by a police officer. This is actually something big for the family because we don't ever want to forget that he did accomplish something in his life. The evening ending in a full circle moment for those from St. Louis, bearing witness to a new day in the name of the organization Brown's father started. I hope that another black mother or black father or parent pity or anyone who, who um, who are raising black children. I hope that nobody else have to experience this pain. 